In this video, we'll install NetBackup. Let's go ahead and open, insert the NetBackup CD-ROM after you've logged into the Linux server. And here's the install program. If we double-click it, we get a little dialog asking us what we'd like to do. Install is an executable text file, so let's say run. We see that nothing happens. This should actually run and launch an installation program as you're familiar with on Windows. It is not so unusual for something to go wrong in an enterprise Unix installation. So it probably tells us that this program is not executable or we don't have permissions or it's probably trying to write some information to the file system but it's on a CD-ROM so it might have some problems here. I could guess that it is executable because it told us it was executable at the beginning. I am logged in as the root user so chances are I do have permission so I'm going to assume that I need to make this able to write to the file system and it's probably trying to write to the CD-ROM file system which is read only. So let's go ahead and open up a terminal. Let's change directory to our home directory. Let's issue the command df-h which lists the various file systems and we see this DVD which we could assume is the CD-ROM or DVD-ROM and we're currently located in root so we probably want to go, let's go to the desktop and let's do an ls Let's create a folder, make directory, net backup. And let's change directory into the net backup directory. We see it's empty if we do a listing. Let's copy everything from inside media. Well, I'll just highlight this and copy it with my mouse. Let's copy everything to this location. And this should solve the initial problem we've seen where the executable program, the install program, refuses to run, um, possibly because it needs to write to the file system and it's trying to write to the CD-ROM. So if we're correct, then uh, at the end of this copying, we should be able to launch the install program and have it initiate the net backup install. I'm going to go ahead and end this video at this point and come back in uh, after all the files from the DVD-ROM has been copied to this net backup folder that we created on our desktop the desktop of the root user.